Hi there. Yeah, this is Raghu from India. Here I am showing uh, one program related to coin vending machine. Okay, so it is in a simple example how uh, that type of coffee vending machine or a tea vending machine, chocolate vending machine, as well as a money money related thing. So different different type of chocolates are there. How the machine is going to react? Such type of example this thing. So this example is simply coin vending machine. Okay. So here uh, it shows different uh, type of coins. So when you enter uh, your money in between one to ten dollars. So here the range I am putting is one to ten dollars. Within that one to ten dollars, if you enter anything, so it automatically shows. Uh, your quartz, how many dimes, and uh, how many nickels, and uh, how many pennies. Okay, so uh, here uh, four different type of coins are available. One is quartz, one is dimes, one is nickels, and uh, pennies. So depends upon the percentages. So maybe this is designed for fifty percent of quartz, thirty percent of dimes, and ten percent of nickels, and ten percent of pennies. Okay, so this program, this program is uh, designed like that. So here, somewhat uh, big code is there. So um, right now, I am not going to explain that code. So first of all, I will show run okay, because it is a low-level language programming. So that's why it is somewhat hard. For suppose it is if it is in Keel or if it is in a high-level language, any high-level language, Java or somewhere, it is very very easy. But in this, uh, we have limited resources, so only eight bit of resource is there to divide and to multiply. So at that reason, how we are going to handle that thing is a main scenario. So that's why, if you want any help in this, so compulsory is just WhatsApp me uh, or uh, just follow me on a teacher son. So I will compulsory help you. So maybe if, whether it is a assignment for a sim or such type of any work is there, so I will compulsory explain. Okay, so first we will see this output. So welcome to ATM. So this message, first suppose if you want to, once again I am showing, so this is called a welcome message. So welcome message. So if you want to you different thing that is your choice. So if you have bigger thing that is nothing but more than 16 characters, must and should you need to write moving display concept. So it doesn't work. It doesn't work. But suppose if you want to tell welcome to my coin vending mission, something if you want to tell compulsory here you need to write in a moving message scenario. Okay. So next. So that is the first message. And after printing that message, it will print uh, that such a description. What what type of things? So what it will do? So it gives coins. Yes, exactly what it is doing. It gives coins. So for suppose it gives coins in quarts like that. If you want to tell maximum more num uh, information, you must and should uh, go with the moving display problem. Okay. So enter money. For suppose you want to enter money here I, you need to take care because i am the programmer i know one to ten only so for suppose if you don't know what happened so for suppose if you enter one and eight maybe if you enter one and eight automatically uh, automatically it gives welcome to atm once again it's gone it's gone to back so that means wrong wrong thing is came. So once again, it gives points and everything description from starting onwards. It is coming because we did a mistake in entry of this thing. That is the first check it will do. So for suppose if I enter ten dollars, what happened? Okay. So ten dollars I entered. So it displayed in you know, quarts, dimes, nickels, and pennies. Okay. So 20 quarts, 30 dimes, and 20 nickels, and 20 pennies. Okay. So home one. So what is this? What is this? So here it is showing. 
one time task is completed you want to repeat once again or if you want to go out that means uh, if you want to go to main menu or if you want to exit so like that like that main menu exit uh, in maximum cases it is asking yes so same way home for home you need to press 1 from for go out you need to press 2 so instead of uh, pressing these two if I take any n on n of the option or suppose I took 3 whatever so once again it is asking same message that means what only two options are there you need to select any one of them so for suppose if I took one so automatically it goes to back so it gives coins so once again it is asking money one more time if you want to give some other number it will display according to that percentage so maybe four four dollars I gave so four dollars split into quads and dimes and nickels so that is that is what it is going to do okay so like this it will work yeah okay so for suppose if i uh, give after completion if i want to go exit what what i want to do so see, enter money maybe it is six dollars or something okay. so it doesn't take because uh, one more thing i need to press so here 60 for suppose somebody presses 60 wrong 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 entry so like that compulsory every time i need to give two digits so like this it will work so for suppose this time i will give one more it gives coins so you need to enter money once again okay so zero four four dollars means zero four okay so it gives parts and then 50 percent of part means eight eight quarts that means two rupees or two dollars so like that it, it is correct the program is correct no problem in that okay so if i suppose if i want to go out from this uh, machine so just to press two bye thank you like that it gives certain message by there or uh, by thank you like that okay thank you for uh, using my service Okay, like that it will display so this is the same sample program because uh, in lower level we are writing so here the challenge is nothing but you need to make that percentages here it see 50 percent quartz 30 percent dimes 10 percent nickels so one for suppose if i change this 40 20 20 20 at that instant this program never works once again you need to make that logic so it depends upon the percentage it will compulsory change okay your work is going to compulsory change so that formula building is very very important thing as like a mathematics you need to calculate but here the constraints are 8 bit only you have 8 bit accumulator and you have 8 bit uh, division option so at that instant how you are going to handle because for suppose if i want to do 50 percent 50 percent how to calculate so uh, that given number into 50 for suppose 5000 divided by 100 it is not possible it is not possible like that so 500 divided by 500 doesn't uh, accommodate by your accumulator because it uh, occupies only 0 to 255 that's it so in that range only you need to do this problem that's why uh, when you are solving this type of problems you need to take care so about your uh, calculation okay Thank you. If you want any help uh, regarding this one, 8086 or 8051, keel coding, so compulsory, uh, you, you can contact in WhatsApp also. I will give my number in description. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, if you like this video, can you subscribe? Maybe it is uh, helping to do next video. That's why I'm asking. So if you have any comments also, you can. Okay, this is a low level language. That's why I'm showing like this. Okay, thank you.